So probably one of the best and worst things about technology is that the goalposts get moved further away pretty fast. So it seems like yesterday that 1080p content was probably the best you could get in terms of quality, but now you see 4K capture cards and software lets you stream and record in 4K. So I kind of thought, could we apply this concept of you have these high-end cameras that have like 8K sensors or 6K sensors, and they downsample this to give really crisp 4K. So can we kind of apply this to having, you know, a 4K source downsampled in a 1080p while having 4K capture cards and capturing your gameplay in 4K? Will that improve your overall stream or recorded content? All right, so let's talk about the setup. So we're gonna use a two PC setup. So on the gaming PC side, it's gonna be a Intel i9-990K and a 2080Ti video graphics card. So not quite state of the art, but it can still output 4K60 on some games. And then on the streaming PC side, it's a bit older. So it's a Ryzen 7 1700. And then it's also a 2060 GPU. Now, we don't really need the streaming PC to be super high end because even though we're capturing in 4K, we're scaling it to 1080p. But even with this setup, I was able to stream successfully with 4K 30 FPS just using the NVIDIA NVIC encoder, which shows how powerful it is. All right, so what are we using to capture? So we're using the Elgato 4K 60 Pro. This is the internal capture card. It's the Mark 1 version, not the Mark 2, but the Mark 2 really just unlocks like HDR 10 bit, which we really don't need for this test. And then I didn't want to just capture capturing the PC. We're actually duplicating our desktop here. I also wanted to test capturing a camera. So we also have a Magewell USB 4K Capture Plus, and this is going to be capturing my Sony A7 III camera. And I've made sure I have all the high speed HDMI 2.0 cables, and I've made sure that all the signals are actually outputting in 4K. All right, so how are we going to determine what works best if there's any difference with 4K? So we're actually going to test three different scenarios. So first of all, we're going to set up a stream output to just some whatever streaming channel. It's going to be like custom RTMP and we're going to enable the carbon copy. So the carbon copy is going to give us a copy of exactly what the encoded video looks like. And then we're going to use the NVIC encoder. We're going to use it at max quality and 6000 bit rate. So max quality is about equivalent to X264 medium, which is within the realm of most people if they're having like a dedicated secondary PC. And then there's three different scenarios. So the first scenario is going to be having a 4K60 resolution in XSplit. So everything's set to 4K, all the sources are configured for that. And then in the actual stream output, we're gonna have it scale to 1080p. And then we're gonna do just 1080p base resolution XSplit. So even though the sources that are coming in are 4K, XSplit's gonna do all the scaling itself and then output that. And then finally, we're gonna just set everything to 1080p, including the sources. And then we're gonna compare and see what 1080p is the best. So let's take a look at the test. So I'm actually gonna put a link to all the recorded files in the description. So you can take a look for yourself and judge it yourself. But uh, yeah, let's run these tests and let's take a quick look at some of the different samples. Now, I recommend actually looking at the raw files because YouTube compression and this video is actually 30, not 60 FPS. It's all out of whack. So really take a look at the raw files and make a choice yourself.
right, so that was a fun test. Let me know in the comments which one you think looked the best. And are you planning to upgrade your own setup to a 4K compatible setup or is it 480p potato PC forever? Let me know in the comments and like and share this video if it was helpful and subscribe if we maybe saved you a few bucks. And uh, we'll see you next time again in the lab.